Hello everyone and thank you for joining me and watching this video today. As always, please like and subscribe and add some comments of what you liked or whatever else you want me to cover. Today I'm going to cover the location feature or module uh, that is in PHP IPAM and how you may use it. Let's begin. First off, we need to make sure that the module is enabled. To do that, we need to go to ed the administration, PHP IPAM settings, and then we want to scroll down to the feature settings, and under feature settings, we want to find the location module. Now, currently in mine, it's on, and that's off. So to set it to on, if you need to, make sure you click on, and it says on here, and then scroll down to the bottom, and hit save. Once the settings have saved, we need to scroll back up and we want to go to the little house icon. Now we need to go to the map symbol up here and that's this one and it's show locations. So let's click that. As you can see I've already added two here and this is just so that we already have something in here and I can show you. If I click on it, you'll see that it's actually, uh, I used Apple's headquarters and you can see that it's there. There's no objects and we go back. So how did I do that? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you my two examples. The first one I'm gonna call Apple II. And these are locations I selected that I've already tested and um, I'm just going to copy and paste into here. Now I can put it in with a location address like this and I'll give it a description. And you see these latitude and longitude? Well, that's what gets you the map. Now, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Let's see if this one works. Okay, so the Apple the Apple II, we were able to successfully determine the coordinates of its location within by just giving it this. Now, I'm going to show you an example of a site that, that doesn't work. So, I'm going to add a new location. And this location is actually in Finland. And I'm going to give it the address and I'm going to call it Apple 3. And I'm going to hit add. As you, and as you can see, it failed to update locations, latitude and longitude from the uh, tool. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to go to maps.google.com and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in that address and as you can see from here right if I right click on here I can get its coordinates and if I go back here and I plug those coordinates in and I hit add, it'll, it correctly added it. Now, the one drawback is it created a new one. So you want to delete this one. Otherwise, you'll have two locations in there. Now, let's go up here to subnets. And what I want to do is I want to go, actually, let's go this way. and. This is from a previous video, this site. As you can see, it has no location. So this subnet just exists someplace. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the pencil and I'm gonna edit the subnet and I'm gonna add this to my location, to my save it. And then I'm gonna go back over here to the house and then to the locations or the map. And you'll see there's an object in here now. 
if I go here, I can see that this object belongs to this location. And this is a subnet at this location. So you can clearly see that there's um, items and a way to logically assign these things so that you can see um, different, you know, where all your different subnets are located. So you don't have to do this by address, but you will get, you know, the coordinates. Obviously, this is meant to be used um, as a you know, way to localize the, the subnets or objects in this case we're talking about into this location. If we go to the locations map, now this is where the kind of neat part is. You can see on the map where you have your offices or locations and you can, you know, see what's in them. So, right, and over here you have that and we can go directly in like that um, and then we can go back right and we can go up here and go in there so there's no objects and I'll show you this is a Hewlett Packard site or Apple 3 um, well that's pretty much it everybody Again, thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe. If you have any comments about the video or would like to see another video that I have not already covered, please let me go know. Again, thank you and have a great day. I think that's everything.